Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about chronic granuloma disease imaging. Technology. This is a primary immunodeficiency characterized by recurrent infection at epithelial surface and organ with large number of reticular endothelial cells. Most common signs and symptoms. Pneumonia is most common infection in chronic coronavirus disease occurring in 80% of patients, most commonly caused by hospitalized secretive adenitis skin, most common infection in chronic coronavirus disease occurring in 60% of the patients, most commonly caused by staph virus. Hepatic abscess occur in one third of patients with chronic granulomatous disease, most commonly caused by stars or Also, mitis occur in up to 25% of patients with chronic, chronic granulomatous disease, most commonly caused by serotia mitis. Demographic age, 76% are diagnosed before 5 years of age, 15% diagnosed in second decade, 6. 85% of patients with chronic granulomatous are male. Epidemiology occur in 1 in 20 or 200,000 to 20, um, 250,000 liver. Imaging, recurrent infection with catalyst positive organism, such as aspicillus or staph, pilococcus aureus. Chronic convomitor disease can affect any organ system. Pneumonia, consolidation, nodule, reticular, nodule opacity, and scarring, complicated by abscess or in IMA in 20%. Lung node, lung cardinopathy in 100% of patients. Separative analysis most common in next. Classified lung node as sequela of prior infections. Also, light is common location, lower and upper extremity, chest wall and vertebral body in both in how to one set from contiguous split of aspicillus pneumonia, hepatic abscess, gastrointestinal, chronic convomitus in both mimic prone disease. This is non-contrastinal CT of the chest in a patient with chronic granulomatous disease. So, cavitary pneumonia in the left lobe lobe aspicillus is the most common cause of pneumonia in patients with chronic granulomatous disease. Contrast in NCT of the abdomen, so the multi subtated abscess in the left lobe of the liver, note the surrounding parenchyma edema. Up to 33% of patients with chronic granulomatous disease develop a hepatic abscess, and 60% of these patients will have multiple abscess at diagnosis. G1C plus FSMI in a patient with chronic granulomatous disease, so enhancement of the area bone consistent with osteomyelitis. This 
an intramuscular abscess in the adjacent cluteal musculature. T2 erythema of the Paris cell diffuse wall signaling and increased signal intensity of the sigmoid pearl with associated and engorgement, engorgement of the vasa recta in pulmonary bowel disease in patients with chronic granulomatous disease can mimic prone disease. Autosome of the liver shows a heterogeneous multi-subtated abscess, no significant internal vascularity was identified on color imaging to suggest a solid contrast intensity of the neck show a superlative round node in the right cervical chain or patient with chronic granulomatous disease have lymphadenopathy and up to 60% of patients develop superlative adenitis. Treatment. Stem cell transplant is known, is only known cure for chronic granulomatous disease. Chronic granulomatous disease is the third most common indicator of stem cell transplant in patients with primary immunodeficiency. Two tenets of treatment, prophylaxis, antibiotic, trimetoprim, so far, metasazone, antifungal, itragonazone, stimulus, superoxide release, interferon gamma, treatment of oxygen inf infection, empiric plant, intravenous, antibiotic or antifungal. Thank you.